I decided to go for every single zombie camo for Modern Warfare 3 weapons on Modern Warfare 3 zombies. And by doing that, I unlocked the... The way you can unlock the Borealis camo is to do certain camo challenges on every single weapon in the game, except Modern Warfare 2 weapons, which is a completely separate camo grind to go for. So when you go for the basic camos throughout the different weapons on zombies, it's mainly getting like 250 kills, get 10 kills in 5 seconds, get 100 kills affected by your like tactical as well, or like even 200 critical kills, and it's always different for every single type of weapon in the game. And for the zombie completionist, which is basically the easiest camo grind that you could ever go for in your lifetime is for Golden Enigma you need to get 100 kills and successfully exfil with the weapon which is quite easy unless you have those problems with the well mainly the MCW back in when it first came out but once you're done with the Golden Enigma you can start working on the Zerkin scale and the way you can unlock the Zerkin scale is to get 300 kills while it's Pack-a-Punch and to unlock the Serpentonite camo all you need to get is 10 special or elite zombie kills with a certain type of weapon so you can unlock the Borealis camo but here's the problem there was 36 weapons to go for for the camo grind. I know. And that took quite a while to do. Also including there is four new DLC weapons in the game as well. So it made it a little bit more easier to go for the camo grinding. But not that much easy anyway. And while I was editing this video, and I found out I only needed to get three more weapons done to unlock the Borealis camo, and my god, man, and my reaction for only three weapons slept was basically like this. Come on, baby, three more to go, let's do it! And me proceeding to lose my marbles of how long it was taking me to unlock all the camos, the good news about it was... Oh god, nothing left! Oh god, nothing left! So the last three weapons I'm going to be using is the Sidewinder, the MTZ-762, and the third weapon I'm going to be using is the Holger-556, and that will be it. Well, for knowing my luck, after grinding my ass off for the past two months, I am going to crack open a nice cold can of Monster with a straw. But hold on, Jonathan, you need to explain to everybody what is the best way to go for the camo grind. Well, Jonathan, if you didn't cut me off the video, I would have said it by now. Oh, shit. And now a lot of you are going to be wondering what is the fastest way to unlock camos and going for the whole grind fest without, well, basically stressing out so much. Well, to make it easier for all of you, the best objectives that you can go for on the map is the escort missions. Or what you can also do, you can go to the drill safe missions as well. Because you'll be able to get some sort of special zombies on that if you're going for the special zombie camo grind. But if you're looking at going for the actual, like, get 300 kills while using a pack of punch weapon, the best way to go for that is to do escort or you can go to the Axfield site in tier 2. Tier 1 can work but tier 2 seems to be much more better for more zombies. But the problem is you can't do it all the time because the more that you do the Axfield site the less zombies that you will have. So yes it can be sort of a grind fest but those are some of the best ways that you can go and do to unlock the camo grind and basically make it easier for use. But the only issue is you still need to have well over 100,000 kills if you basically want to almost get everything done. I know it's going to be a pain in the ass because I'm sorry about. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to put the weapons that I've already done in the top right corner. Well, basically the number with the camo logo. Do. And now we're going to put some gameplay on. Hope you guys enjoy this and I'm going to talk over very soon. Really? That's weird. So it seems to be very easy to go for the camos on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Basically what I explained at the beginning of the video, you have to do escort missions and you can just go to the Axfield sites to well, basically get the special kills. It's very simple to do in the game. And it was so easy as well because I was able to go for the multiplayer camos because I just leveled up everything on Zombies. That's why I like, pretty much really enjoyed playing Zombies a lot. Bingo, we did it. Nice car. I know it can take a while to go through the whole processing of doing the whole camo grinding, but once you're done with it, my god, man, it has to be one like the easiest times to go for it. But hey, if you guys want to do the exact same thing I'm doing right now, you could do whatever you want to do, man. So then when I was saying at the beginning of the video, I did the same process of going to the escort missions and going to the exfil site and basically trying to get, well, as many elite kills, well, well basically what I can do. But I'm going to explain to you why that third weapon didn't really work out for me. Me. But anyway, let's get back to it. The best way that I normally do when I do the X-Fill is when I like do a whole training around zombies.
I wait for one of the special zombies, like the mangler mainly, of course. So when the manglers come around, I usually just kill them and I just keep training the zombies because, I mean, at this rate, I don't really care about the zombies. But the problem is, time to time with the whole X feel, is he might not be able to get the manglers because this game could be a pain in the ass time to time. <laughs> Then it was at this moment, my life wasn't the same. Oh my god, buddy. So after processing- Okay, that's for me. Really, John? Shut up. So after me making a bucket load of money, I proceeded to go and, well, basically drive all the way to pack a punch, upgrade my weapons, well, get drug as well, and go back into the action. I hope- Oh yeah. Booyah! Still not done yet. Oh man. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Two more to go. So now we only need to get two more weapons until we unlock the Borealis camo. And mate, I could not wait to get this done, man, because I was already grinding for so many hours. But we're almost there. No, not the mangler. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let's go. One more weapon to go, and that is it. So now we only need to get one more weapon done to unlock the Borealis camo. But here's the problem. I did tell you about that third weapon that I was going to be using, but it really didn't really work out for me because I realized that I was like 6 out of 10 on one of my other weapons. So instead of using that weapon, I use this one here. One more gun. One more gun. Come on, baby. Legal gambling at its finest. Let's see what we're going to get. So for my final game, I decided to skip all the objectives and go straight to the Xville site because after what I said earlier, I didn't need that many final bosses well, to basically kill. But besides that, back to it. Bad internet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! <laughs> we f did it! Oh my god! Dude, that took forever! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> And that is going to be the video for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching today, and I really appreciate you. If you guys want to subscribe and also like the video, please do so, because this video took me a really long time to edit. So if you guys want to do that for me, I would really appreciate all of you for doing that. If you guys want to check out my social medias, they're all down in the description down below. Besides that, everyone, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care of yourself, and have a wonderful day. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this camo was definitely worth it, even after all the grinding. Oh no, I need to go on to multiplayer. Oh.